All right, guys, what is up? It is another day here at Reptile HQ between TL Constrictors and myself, and uh, one of our projects just happened right now. So what I mean by that is a boa just gave birth. As many of you guys know, boas give birth, pythons give eggs, right? So boas just had babies right now, or one boa just had a whole bunch of babies. So we're gonna go take you guys how to pull that, what we do in order to pull that, how we clean off the babies, how we, uh, just our whole process to babies being born or boas being born. So there's a lot going on right here. We're probably gonna cut this video just a little short or make it kind of snappy and quick, but we'll make sure to get all the details in there so you guys know exactly what is going on. So let's go check it out, guys. My gut. Dude, look at that. False water cobra is breeding right now too. Oh, still, they're just breeding on. All right. So if you guys notice, we're ripping off this obviously, right? Loud noises. Um, we're ripping off this right here because we wanted to give her a, a, a feeling of security. And basically she feels like she's secure because we have that paper up and she feels like she's inside of her cave or something like that. And now she's immediately just heard me do that and she's like, what the hell is going on? Now, Teal Constrictor is the boa guy here. Any of the boas that are produced here, Teal Constrictor is doing all that work, guys. I am not a boa person. I've only bred rainbow boas before and uh, that's it. So when it comes to Brazilian rainbow boas, you know, I have experience with that, which is, it's still boas, the green anacondas I haven't bred yet, but hopefully they do. And she got some chocolate milk down there because she's always messing up her water. So we'll change that today later. But uh, right here we have this boa. There's a whole bunch of babies. If you guys want to check that out, look at that right here. Oh, immediately I'm gonna pull these out, look at this. So those are duds right there. Mmm, those are disgusting. Oh, look at that, that's nasty. Dude, yeah, so those are, Stillborn basically. Yeah, right. All right, so check that out guys. So right there is a whole litter of babies and she just struck at the glass. She's not happy. It's kind of funny because some of these are coming out of this sack right now. I'm going to show you guys right now. So unlike a hard shell egg, these guys actually have like a soft shell egg basically or a sack that they're born in and then they pop out of. So like this one right here is still inside of this sack. You guys see that sack right there? And then boom, we can help it pop open and it will come out just like that, take its first breaths, and that is just one gorgeous, what is this, a jungle sunglow? What is this, bro? You, it's, you're about to get bit in your hand. You're actually, oh, look at, yeah, oh, she's right there. Oh, snap, <laughs> yeah, she really was about to smoke me. <laughs> I didn't even see her, I was so fascinated by the babies, and she just struck the glass, too. Yeah. All right, so. And she doesn't do that. No. Like, that's not super typical. So, check this out, guys. We have, what do we have here, we have warm water right here, right? Yeah. And uh, we're gonna uh, put the babies inside of here. What is this? So like 94. 94. We're cool that down like four to six more degrees. Yeah. So we got warm water right here. It's gonna cool down a little bit, like you said. We'll put all the babies in here, and what that's gonna help us do is get all the amniotic fluid or all that fluid that's even on my fingers right now. You see that sticky stuff? Get it all off of the uh, off of their skin, and that way they're nice and clean. We see which ones are you know stillborns, which ones are live. So same thing, we're actually gonna do it to the mom as well. We're gonna put warm water into another bucket. We have on the other side one of these, uh, what are those called? Those they're not sterilites, right? What are those? It's just a storage bin. Storage bin, yeah. So we filled one of those up with water as well. And we gotta do the same thing to the mom so that she doesn't think she has any more babies to worry after and hopefully she'll eat a little bit faster. What, what temperature are we at, bro? Uh, I'm shooting for like 88 to 90. All right, 88 to 90 and we're at what? 89, what do you 89, nice, boom, just like that. How'd you do that? Is it because you're a chef or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this guy can cook up a mad meal you guys will see my stories but all right i'm gonna grab some of these guys i'm gonna dunk them in here and then i'm actually gonna pass this over to trent and then we're gonna record him and watch him but there bro i'm gonna drop these in here i don't know about you guys who have ever had uh broods of, of baby bows or anything but this uh this amniotic fluid gets my hands and my skin really really itchy and uh i don't like it so I'm gonna put on these gloves. Yeah, they are. Yeah, but she had a lot. Okay, this one is 100% hit aspen. Oh my God, oh, look at this. This is cool, I wanna show this. Okay, so check this out. This is the sack that they come in. You see its head moving? It's like an egg. And look, it's popped on this side. All you gotta do is pull it over. And look, there's its first breath right there, guys. So that whole sack in the back right there is just like you would see a python coming out of its egg or something. But instead, that's a boa egg, basically. So they still have eggs. Look at, as you guys can see, they still have eggs inside of them, but they actually hatch, you can say, inside of her, and then they're inside of this amniotic fluid sac, and then they take their first breaths. And then you have a little boa like this, and it is live birth. Let me pull out a good handful of these, and you wanna go for, oh, dude, look at this one. There's a boa inside of it, bro. Yeah, it's, 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 it's
didn't develop though. It died a long nope. way. That's so weird. Yeah. Four duds. We got a. Let's say, look at those squares. Yeah, that's a good one. That's okay. A I'm going to I'm gonna hand this over to you, bro. You want to pull the rest of these? And then uh, I'm going to grab my gloves off. Her head's over here. What's up, guys? I'm Trent, TL Constrictors. Um, this was a pairing that was a Marin Hypo to one of Josh's males, actually. Um, and he wanted to see because these uh, produce uh, paradoxes. His male, I guess, has produced a lot of paradoxes. And then he's like this giant BCC boa that... He wanted to keep because it's this big old giant boa. So I was like, cool, you want to breed it to one of my females? And he's like, yeah, let's do it. And maybe we'll get lucky. It's it's random. There's a lot of snakes in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, we get another one in the sack. Pop it open. Oh, they're little guys. Yeah, they're all super little. That one's spicy. Tried to bite me. Already? Yeah. Two. Oh, where is she at? She's over there. Dude, this is probably one of the coolest looking ones out of the whole bunch, too. Look how big the yoke is. Look at that. It oh, adds look at the squares side, on side that. rosettes and look at the, the side patterns on that. So, yeah, I don't even know what that is, you actually. Have, uh, tell them, sometimes you have stillborns. Sometimes you have stillborns. Um, this is a. Uh, this is a tough stillborn to look at. This thing has an amazing pattern. You see all those dark patterns coming off of the motley that's connecting down the sides? And then check this one out that I found. Look at the kink on its tail. Oh, well, it happens. You know, they're all jammed up inside the mom, and them being in this soft sack, like, it can hold them and, you know, contort them in certain ways, and they don't develop properly. You know, it's just, it's just something that happens. This one actually might have a slight kink in the tail, too. Oh, no, it's good. It just straightened up. But there, I mean, there's... Even though I want the kink in the tail is alive, though. Yeah, that, this one that didn't make it, that one probably has the coolest pattern of everything we've Whoa, pulled. You see all those little dot, like, those bars on the side, even? And then you see all oh, this connected, oh. like, hazy pattern? Dude, yeah, what a trip. Give it CPR, bring it back. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. oh, dude, look, it has that same thing. Look at it. Yeah, kind of. The other one was different, though. Oh, way it's different. super different. Whoa. I think that was the last one. Yeah, here's another underdeveloped one. I mean, she had a good amount of babies, so when you have that many babies, that's that's pretty common. I mean, it, it can happen. You know what's crazy? You know what that looks like to me? This one is just... You know what that looks like? What? Salchichas? <laughs> nah, it looks like snake food. <laughs> yeah, it does. Nothing goes to waste here. Like, all of these snakes that don't make it like this, the ones that have kinks, you know, it's kind of sad, but... We'll freeze it for a month, make sure, you know, it's it's safe for another animal to eat. And it's kind of that circle of life because, you know, we don't want anything to go to waste. And we didn't want this mom to do her hard work for nothing on, you know, keeping these babies going and getting to this point. So this water is like slime now. Oh, um, yeah. We're going to rinse these probably like three to five times before they go on to wet paper towels. Okay, so let's do that. Let's rinse these. How many times? Like. Three to five. Okay, we're gonna we want these three to five all the five scum times? out. We want all the aspen out. Um, this aspen's been in here for a long time because why the mom's going through her her process of being pregnant and gravid. Um, we don't we don't change her substrate. We spot clean poops and peas. Um, we don't want to change their scent because sometimes when you change their scent, um, it can make them not want to lay or not make them feel like they have a safe place to be. And then we so, get another one with a king. That's the same one, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. I think that's the same one. Yeah. Okay. But. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and rinse these off a few times, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are back now. We, we were going to skip all this, but we're going to show you guys <laughs> We're going to show you guys exactly what we're doing. We're going to just take all these babies right here, and we're literally placing them in the tub, and this is going to be their second rinse. This is where we're kind of getting all that, that thicker slime off of them at the moment. And then we put them into a separate tub, and look, we got these three beautiful albinos right here. Uh, I think Trent and I said that these might not be sun glow, but we won't know until they shed a few times and grow up just a little bit. But again, second wash is happening right here because we're specifically getting all of that off right there, that, uh, that slime. So bam, so let's take a count of these too. So we got three albinos, four, five, six right here, seven right here, a little umbilical cord still on it, 18, 19, 19 inside of here. And we got our two right here. We got the kink one that, you know, again, we, we trying to be as humane as possible. So we got the two kink ones right here. And you got one, two, three, four, five, 
five and then this one right here so six so six more that did not make it right there for a total of what did we just say i think there was seven i think there's 27. so 27 i think there was guys so I, go back count these and then count those and you know how many the total was right guys so i'll probably put a little thing right there how many total there was but that gorgeous gorgeous bows right here these will definitely be on morph market once uh, these all shed out eat. We need these guys to all shed at least once. We need them to take at least two meals, sometimes even four meals to be honest. And um, once we see that they've eaten, they shed and then they actually poop, do the whole cycle. Then we know they're healthy enough to hit morph market. And that's when you'll see TLC and myself uploading these onto morph market guys. And that's where you'll be able to catch them available. Go down into the link below, by the way, guys, uh, in the description of this video, you'll see the link to my morph market. Go check it out. We already have some boas up. We have some insane Central American stuff. Some of the highest Central American stuff ever produced by TO Constrictor, uh, stuff that comes straight from Da Vinci's line. We're going to have some bloods. Um, TLC and myself are going to have some CAT plus, correct me, CAT plus blood? Burke Bloods from Burke uh, um, on the uh, on the Morph Market as well this year. So make sure to keep up with our Morph Market guys, all right? But uh, again, we're going to switch this all out, go dump this into the toilet, and um, we're going to give them two more baths, guys. This is the third bath that these guys are getting right here. TL Constrictors is putting these in. Trent right here. Boom. And um, look at those things, dude. Now that they're inside of clear water, you can see them. These guys are just gorgeous, gorgeous little boas. Look at the pattern on that. Holy cow, look at the pattern on this albino. Look at that. Whoa. It almost looks Aztec y. That's trippy. Come on, buddy. Get back in your bath. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, all we're using is paper towels. These are going inside of a V, this isn't a V70, what is it? A V35. V35 right there, guys. And we have their hot spot at 90 degrees, guys. And then it cools down all the way. Yeah, super high humidity for the first, like, honestly, like month of their life until they all shed. And uh, we actually leave a good amount of water, a layer of water at the bottom of there. And uh, you guys will see that right now. Look at it. Bam. Just like that, guys. And look at it. And if it's too wet, just add more paper towel or soak out some of the water. But honestly, for babies, you want it to be about this wet. Look, it, it is wet. It's not damp, it's wet. And then there. That's it, really. And then all we do, oh, it, it is kind of funny. It. Huh? Uh, I think we can put them all in for now, and then we'll separate tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, so for right now, guys, we're putting them all inside of that bin so that they'll be together. And then uh, tomorrow, we'll actually separate these half going in the same exact type of bin, half going in one half going in another but here it is guys i just want to show you the entirety process of us having boas and what we do cleaning them off just some simple stuff really but keeping guys updated with what is going on for 2023 breeding guys 2023 breeding some beautiful stuff happening this season between tlc myself myself and tlc on his own as well so a lot of uh, a lot of projects i think too many projects possibly right <laughs> but all right guys there you go Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, if you guys did like the video, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe if you're new. And uh, again, we'll keep you guys updated with this. As for our Instagrams, SB Reptiles for my Instagram as of any other platform and TL Constrictors right there, guys, for another one, right? But look at that, Boas, baby. Peace out.